Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And finishing up our look at the Wave 1 Deluxes of Legacy Evolution, at least for now, uh, this is Stunticon Breakdown. Now, a few things to note. Although it's being released along with the other Evolution figures, Breakdown's packaging just says Legacy. That is to keep a visual consistency with uh, the other Stunticons that were released during Legacy proper. Um, also, as we all know, Breakdown is a repaint, retool of Wild Rider, which here it is right here. And I have to say I'm very meh on this figure. And I'll explain why as we go along, but basically to get a Lamborghini from a Porsche uh, that takes some magic. And let me go ahead here and remove the weapons from Wild Rider just so we can get a better look at the top. And this is where you can start seeing that the whole back section here, that's new. Um, this tail fin actually is where it would be the, where the weapons ports would be. But you have that whole rear section is different. Um, the side panels are the same, so it's really just the top of that section. Actually, well, just, you know, just that whole, what would be the back of the leg. Uh, coming underneath the inner panels here, that would be the, uh, I guess, the front of the legs, that or the back, That those are the same. The feet are different, which... I believe that's because this will connect to the Menosaur frame differently than uh, this guy. But going on, you can see that the arms, same. Uh, chest piece is different. And one thing that I find uh, kind of interesting is the slot, the, you know, because you can store um, Breakdown's weapon underneath. That hinge right there is complete, is the same. So if you want, you can plug Breakdown's weapon. Ugh. Oh, you get it? Make a line around me. No, it's the same. It's got to be. Yeah, you can plug Breakdown's weapon right in. So we'll put that off to the side. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I mean, the front end here is completely the same, which is a little disappointing because that's a this is a faux Porsche front end, which is different than a Lamborghini. Um... And I think that was a lot of the issues, especially, you know, the fact that we got three really good Stunticons. You know, each one improving upon the previous one, with the previous one not being that bad. And then the last one, they just flaked out and gave us a repaint retool. I understand there could be various reasons for that. <sighs> you know, it's leaving me nonplussed. And I know it's leaving a lot of other fans non-plus, especially when you consider the fact that Breakdown um, has transcended the Stunticons, like Swindle transcended the Combaticons, to be a, you know, recognizable name character on its own. Uh, now, you can leave the fin on to get into its limb mode, which is not shown in the directions, but what you want to do is pop this front end up slightly, and that will loose, help to loosen up uh, the windshield, which you have to pop forward. Now, I do want to mention, I don't know if it's a mold issue or something. This windshield, it wants to lock right there. Do not push it further back like you would on Wild Rider. There is this terrifying snap something in there is rubbing up something but this will break over time i have heard about fixes about filing a tab down i don't know what what tab it is or how to do it i've already heard reports from people saying that they have stress marks paint chipping what have you so just be aware of that okay so we're going to fold that back and then continue to fold the uh front end up and there you have the limb and I do believe yes you can you can leave the uh, the weapon attached although I have to say 
having an extra peg back here kind of makes me think that uh, there might be a combined weapon gimmick that we're missing with the uh, with the figures. But uh, there we go. And oh, you know, oh yes, and this tail section, the front end does f f flail out, which you know, you know how much I love that. But that's about it. That's the uh, that's the heel mode and. For some reason, there's like a little. It wants to spring back. Uh, so I think we just gotta get it a little. Because, uh, you know, oh yeah, around the hinge there. There you go, and it will sit flush, and then you can plug this in. Well, I'm not gonna go show the transformation to robot mode because it's exactly the same as Wild Rider. So you can go back and check out that review. But we will go from breakdown looking like this to this. And as I mentioned, you know, for the robot mode, the head is different, chest panel is different, but that, the legs and all that, same. Um, the arms are the same. You can't, you do have, oh, excuse me, you do, do, you do have to remove the tail thing. Um, there's really no way to store it in vehicle mode unless you're going to fold it up like that on the back of the leg and basically neuter your knee articulation. I guess you can you can have it angle out like that. Uh, there's no way to have it like flush because of uh, this back paneling. This was a major oversight there. That, 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 that should not have happened. There should be uh, some sort of... Uh, just uh, like the, the the fin should have split but they did work in a combined weapon mode with the blaster you have an axe or you can just have breakdown hold his blaster and then hold the fin like a boomerang or a cutting blade of sorts yeah i'm not going to do that um Right here on the back, there you go. I mean, uh, articulation is the same as Wild Rider, so there is that. I did notice that when working with the arms, uh, there was a couple sharp edges that were like kind of painful, so just be aware of that. But yeah, I'm just not really thrilled or excited for breakdown. I mean, this is going to be a, a back of a leg and heel piece for a combiner that should have been completed months ago. And, you know, that's about it. Um, let's pause and we'll come back with my final thought. I'm just meh on breakdown. This figure is not as entertaining, not as fun. Uh, doesn't really stand out from the other Stunticons. I think it really was an afterthought. I, I almost want to say I get the feeling that they're like, well, we need to do four of them, and one of them has to be, you know, a, a retool for budget expenses and what have you, even though it's not going to be showing up to the first wave of the next line. That's a complaint for another video. And Breakdown got the short end of the stick. It is kind of funny that when you think about it, this has always been an issue with uh, the Stunticons. Uh, if you go back to Combiner Wars, Wild Rider was actually a repaint with a new head of Dead End, whereas Breakdown was its own mold that was eventually used for Sunstreaker. So, there is that. Um... And I do want to mention before I forget that, as you can see, the canopy will sit up a little higher. I am not pushing that clear piece down further. i just not going to do that. Uh, I just don't want to take the chance of it snapping. I mean, there's like clear hinges there and everything. It's the no. But, yeah. I mean, the only way I can really recommend this is, well, you got to have it just to uh, complete uh, Menasaur. At least from the rear. I mean, if you can 
find another figure just or find a way to jam that panel shut you, you know who needs it but apparently it does help bring a little weight and balance to the figure which I guess is good but yeah there's not much more I can say about it it's a repaint new head with some slight retooling I got it from Amazon that's where I've gotten all the evolution figures thus far that's where you can get it too if you like this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. While I will always appreciate the views, likes, comments, and subscriptions, help to communicate to YouTube through their algorithms that my channel should be exalted and held upon high. If you want to make the ultimate sign of support, I do have a Patreon. It is www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. All I ask for is a dollar a month or $12 a year. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All you're doing is helping me help you to help me help you bring figures like Breakdown to you, as well as keeping up the infrastructure of the channel. But as I always say, no times are tough. We're on the cusp of a recession. There is inflation. If you can't do the dollar a month or $12 a year, your views are more than thanks enough. Patreon is just a cherry on top of an already generous Sunday. So that's about it for the review. For breakdown, I guess now it's time to take a look at Menasaur. This is your old pal Chuck, and we will see you next time.